Yo! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a special edition of XTV. It is myself, Eckstein, joined by Salamance. We're doing some post-production, watching Immortal 6 vs. Carl Sagan Foundation. What is up, Salamancer? Not a lot. I'm actually watching the heavy roll out here right now. They do not, you know, they do not have the Gru allowed, but uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. Yep, uh, soldiers jumping. Uh, right side, Cranberry for I-6, formerly known as the Pharmacy, goes down first. And so does the Spades. Now the Red Medic getting pressure, very significantly falling back, though, safely. Lose their other soldier, just the scouts up. Yeah, this is looking good so far for the Carl Sagan Foundation. Team Cosmos. They lost their medic, so it's going to be tougher for them to push in towards last, but they will probably get second here as uh, Team Immortal 6 only has, you know, one scout and one demo man now pressuring, and they are not able to stop that capture at all. Actually taking some spam here. Yeah, medic took a good amount of damage now. Uh, they are rotating back. I mean, they do have that uber charge, so we'll see if they, you know, try to get a pick here, try to pressure out. And uh, they're just going to have to be patient right now, though. Actually, Spades uh, starting to push forward through the middle. Yeah, and they're jumping, uh, I should say Cosmos, is jumping the heavy upstairs. Now he's actually decided to rush downstairs. He saw way too much pressure coming at him, didn't want to die. So that was actually a really good move, uh, being a surprisingly nimble heavy there. But it does look like Immortal 6 are going to go for the capture on second. I wonder what they have on last. To defend against wow. this, nothing is the answer. Wow. <laughs> good play there by the Carl Sagan Foundation. Uh, looking at the signs and the skies, and, uh, figuring out what they needed to do. That was pretty effective there. Uh, I'm checking out the Cranberry rollout right now, and he's going to keep himself up at a very high level of health, taking this passive rollout to the left-hand side, uh, and laying down some stick. He's trying to get the kill on the medic. Actually, a soldier being really aggressive there as well, and the first man to die is Nenzal, the uh, Cosmos medic, but very quickly, Ricky and Cranberry both die. So, once again, this is going to be a situation, I think, where Cosmos may have the advantage of the mid-fight. Uh, they are pressuring the enemy combo back through their choke once again. Yep, good play there by um, Cosmos. Uh, lost their medic early, but then just bringing the pressure on I6. And uh, maintaining the middle fight. I6 is a little bit further up here with Spades uh, staying alive. Their demo man coming back to him as well, Cranberry. Yeah, I'd say this time around, it does look like we're going to have more uh, more of a good push here, I think, by Immortal 6. And they don't have to worry about a back cap ending the round this time. Although, nice oh! sticky trap. Yeah, takes down solid Metal Snake. Yeah, and uh, Spade saw that, but just a little too late to react to that. And the medic drifted right into it. It was a phenomenal trap and a great drop for uh, Carl Sagan Foundation. Yeah, and now we're going to see what uh, B decides to do on the sniper. I'm clicking around a lot here. Um, he is actually standing inside right now. I'm going to wait for somebody to open that door, but I don't think anybody will. They're not going to not going to fall for that so easily. So B has not gotten a lot of kills in the sniper yet. It's funny because I do see him getting crazy sniper kills in... Uh, in all the pickup games I've played with or against him. Yeah, Pete is a pretty solid uh, sniper scout player. Red is sitting over here trying to get some pressure on Cosmos. Um, indeed, uh, Java B, J Beneducci, taken out by Pete. He's uh, still up there sniping. Ensal does have 100%. They're backing up a little bit. They do have the control point, but uh, just make sure that they're playing it safe and they don't get this uber pressured out of them. Oh, I just looked at Cranberry laying a sticky trap. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but there is a sticky trap like next to the stairs here. This could be huge if he detonates it on the medic. He doesn't see it though. Oh, that's too bad. And actually, it looks like a scout was taking shots at the uh, at the little ramp area there. But it's like right next to the stairs where the heavy's standing right now. You can actually, yeah, look at that. There goes the explosion. You can set stickies there, and they are completely invisible. Yeah, I, th I actually kind of thought that they had fixed that from uh, different versions. Uh, that was uh, a trap that we saw, I think, Danny use uh, way back in the earlier days of Gully Wash. But... Well, and remember that this is an ESCA open right now, so this is actually an older version of Gully Wash with uh, oh, the yeah. water still downstairs. I almost forgot about that. A couple other small changes as well, most notably the spawn doors and the lack of a drop down on that middle point. Here comes the blue over. Uh, red able to hold on for to it for a while. All in Metal Snake. Um, Jump on that, not taking any damage. Heavy versus heavy on the point. Gets a little bit of support from his soldier. And uh, they're gonna they're gonna push out here pretty aggressively. Spades is the one on soldier, and she was calling for medic, and now he's going back to uh, protect the point. Yeah, we do have beat once again on the sniper, um, and he's he's uh 
As far as I've seen of Beat, he likes to play Sniper more than Scout. That might be his main class. Um, yeah, Control F Muffin there ended up going down to a nice, uh, I think a nice set of stickies. Or, oh, but a good headshot from uh, Jay Benaducci is going to turn things around. Um, solid Metal Snake down again. Yeah, that's a big uh, loss. The medics have just been chopping like flies here. Our control point is usually have a tough time uh, protecting their medics against ambushes and whatnot. Yeah, so now I6, the Immortal 6 team, which I I don't know where they got that name from, although it's a nice sounding name. Uh, uh, but they do a, push forward and... sponsor um, who has been around and sponsored TF2 teams in the past. They were the pharmacy previously, and uh, that was just a solid name, but uh, obviously your name is uh, your sponsorship, so the control get some support being from Immortal 6. Nice, very nice. Um, did not know those. So is the sponsor Immortal, or is it actually Immortal 6? Because if it was... Immortal 6, that would be very nice considering TF2 is all about 6s. Yeah, Immortal 6 wouldn't have the same ring to it if you're playing you know, 5 and 5 or, <laughs> or Counter Strike or, or whatever. So yeah, TF2, one of the uh, unusual esports that has 6 players in the game. Uh, Red is oh, Cranberry is, yeah. But, uh, looks like Cranberry is walking back to the last. Yeah. He just doesn't want to get back kept. He just trying to snipe through that upstairs uh, crack. Again. And meanwhile, we've got a bunch of players downstairs for our blue team. I don't think, really, they're going to fall victim to this sniping at all. In fact, nobody's outside anymore. So that's, uh, well, no, there is still a heavy medic combo, actually. Caught away from the rest of their team. I think the blue team has been split up here. So this could be really effective for uh, Immortal 6. Yeah, Pete still dropped down. does uh, connect one shot. We were popped from both teams uh, pretty much uh, even percentage. Got beat taken down Nenzal though. His oh, headshots oh. going crazy, dude. <laughs> beat uh, fantastic snipe there. He had it in front of him and did not miss his shot. That's what it takes to be a, a great sniper in this game, is when you have an opportunity like that, you have to capitalize. And indeed you got the headshot, took out Nenzal. These are gonna push in the middle here, it looks like. He's that they are, and a scout trying to slow this down a little bit, but uh, top shot gets knocked off there by spades. Now there's a heavy standing on the low ground, though. Jay Benaducci still in the heavy, dealing some crazy damage. Solid Metal Snick um, took a hit there from Sticky Bombs, and it's going to go down. Yeah, that was a good uh, kill there, good, good heavy play. I mean, he ended up going down to the sniper. It brought a lot of pressure and actually saved the point for the blue team. Red uh, just needs a little bit more on it. Oh, but spades coming in on Nensal. Does get the kill there. That's big. Ricky trying to clean up now. Um, control F Muffin, though, does get the kill. Looks like they actually have a scout on um, second point as well. So it'll be contested by uh, Carl Sagan Foundation establishing themselves on the second point. I'm just trying to slow down my demo a little bit because it sounds like I'm just a bit ahead of where you are. Um, so, right. yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Um, Control F Muffin, though, going to be walking in with the rest of his team, and right now I'm watching him as he uh, walks up these stairs and starts laying down some stickies above the door. It's a lot of heavy uh, here so far today. Uh, the there is a lot of heavy. All. Here comes the heavy from Red, pushing in through up top, using the Uber. Um, Nensel doesn't have it yet, but they're going to need to get out there and get some damage when he's falling back through the garage side. By the ram. Uh oh. Down. The control point is being captured. Yes. Yeah, great back cap by Top Shot. Uh, was actually really not boating very well for Immortal Six, anyways. Uh, but a fantastic cap there. Yeah, it was uh, extremely well done. And now we've got a situation where Carl Sagan Foundation is going to be two up against the Immortal Six, and they only have to win one more round. Looks like there was a pause though. Yes, indeedy. Um, I think we're just going to go into silent mode and then shop it out later, so... Word. There we go. Yow! Welcome back after that pause, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Two rounds for the uh, Carl Sagan Foundation right now. So, uh, we are getting Nenzel. seven here for I6, but they still just have five right now. Yeah, I just want to point out that Nenzal is running the Crits Creek right now, so if he stays alive for this... Uh, it could be pretty crazy. And yeah, Immortal 6, I think they're just getting Huey back in the game. Um, they did lose Cranberry right away. Both demos actually down at this mid-fight. And now Emperor has rejoined um, Team Red. 
somehow out of that uh, pause, you know, weird things tend to happen to the models and stuff. I got three of the players for blue are like totally dark. They have like no lighting on their like, yeah. models. Yeah. That's always fun. Yeah. Do got this crit figure. I think they should be able to put it into play. They've actually popped it already. Oh! Great rocket around the corner. Popped it early, which is great to communicate to your player. You've popped it. They're going to get that capture on too. Already have the medic and the soldier on last. The down man coming in. So is the soldier. And um, staying alive. Uh, and saw even. Oh. Wow. Great round. And the uh, amputator taunt just to finish off that round and heal up all of his friends to full for no particular reason. Um, except that it looks good. It looks really good. That's a pretty good reason. We're talking about a game where uh, where hat fashion is half the fun, so I, I guess you're right. Yeah, Carl Sagan Foundation, I didn't notice this earlier. They're all, uh, at least these five in the spawn, are all rocking the party hat. So uh, they're ready to get down. Indeed, they have started the party uh, with a 3-0 uh, lead into halftime. Um, Pretty wicked. Yeah. Spades is trying to join the party as well, at least his heavy character is, with that party hat. Yeah, sadly he's nowhere near spawn for Cosmos at the moment, so he's not going to be able to get in there. And even if he were near spawn, all he could do is just stand on this little window ledge and look in longingly at the awesome times the red team's having, just like I do every time I try to join parties. <laughs> It's like every Christmas movie ever made, where the guy has to walk by, you know, the the windows of the loving family and be like, Oh, why can't my life be like that? Wait, it can! <laughs> if only I turn everything around. Or, or, or however the plot of that movie goes. You know. If only I hadn't killed that hooker. Shit. Wait, I know! I can make it go away. Or just hide the body. Hide the body, go into politics, and uh, nobody will ever ask any questions. That's what we've learned from CSI. I don't even watch a lot of CSI. I don't watch any of those shows. Indeed, it looks like we are all readied up. As we are getting to go here on the second half of Mortal 6. Now in blue, Carl Sagan uh, Foundation, the Cosmos in red. Yeah, and uh, we were told that this was going to be a pretty awesome game. So far, it looks a little bit rolly, but you got to remember that uh, what Carl Sagan Foundation has done for two of their caps has been back capping. And, you know, that's good. It, it, it shows that they are really on top of their game right now, but it's not necessarily proving anything in the, the deathmatch skills. Um, Immortal 6 do lose two players right off the bat, but they bring a slamper out to mid as well as a heavy spades on the heavy. They've lost their medic, and so there's something's going to have to happen here if for Immortal 6 to take this middle fight, and so far that's something uh, isn't happening. No, a uh, 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 snipe by beat on Nensaw would have been a nice con uh, consolidation there, or a consolation, excuse me. Um, but yeah, Cranberry didn't really come out there doing a whole lot of damage. Um, rest of I6 um, going down pretty quickly. Java B uh, had the uh, better better uh, end of the heavy work there over Spades. Yeah, so now they're just trying to build that Uber up. They've got a huge advantage, and I I gotta say, I think Cosmos is probably gonna push in here and take this one too. Uh, they just need to go in with the Uber, get a couple of kills. Watch these sticky traps, which could do a lot of damage, but no, the Uber is popped. Uh, they're bringing the Heavy in as well, which is just gonna be really scary for Immortal 6. There's no Uber in sight for Blue Team. They've gotten a couple of kills though, um, as Moro and Fate Roller both went down, and now Jade Beneducci down as well. Somebody standing on the point though. Oh! Until Solid Metal Stake comes in with the Uber saw, gets the kill, and beat. Gets two kills as well uh, with that as the pyro. pyro off glass. Nice. Yeah, so those two players, the only two up, they're just going to push all the way to second. Uh, going to get the capture there. Beat's going to have to stay on Pyro a little bit, but uh, he, he can certainly play the glass. Well, they've got you know the possibility of a back cap, but they really shut it down quite nicely by having Ricky standing in the doorway. He's at 9 health right now. Somehow managed to survive that. Um, Cranberry did not, though. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, from him going to the choke alone and getting punished for it. Um, an unfortunate loss for them as I6 would like to just keep this roll going and keep pushing forward. Yeah, they're going to have to fight tooth and nail for every every point here, I think. And they're fighting against the Kritzkrieg, which, uh, you know, if they cannot take out their medic with this Uber, they're going to be in trouble. Spades might have spotted it. Here comes the crit heavy. Uh, and the Uber popped, but still, uh, Jabba B gets one kill. 
control F Muffin, the demo man getting stuck, but Uber about to fade as they come out around choke. Some good kills over here on the side from uh, Ricky, actually, he got two of them. But there is a back cap attempt right now by Top and uh, Face Roller supporting. So the Heavy and Medic are going to have to walk back, and this is where the Heavy Medic combo really suffers. They are really too slow to effectively uh, put together an offense. Yeah, that was good, though, that they uh, were able to respond to that back cap, and they responded immediately. That's what they had to do. For a second, I was kind of thinking, oh, they should just stay and try to capture middle. But no, they were going to get uh, surpassed in the capture timer times three on the second point versus times two on the middle point. And uh, Spades definitely, uh, thankfully, even though they're slow, their mobility is limited, were, uh, was able to get back and take care of that back cap. Yeah, well now it's finally the middle point in possession, or in the possession, I get I get lambasted for saying that wrong, of Immortal 6. Um, and I think that might be the first time this game that's even happened. Jay Beneducci on Sniper right now, and he's watching for the Heavy, but that's not going to happen at the moment. Um, a good Kritzkrieg pop takes down the Heavy, though. Yeah, unfortunately, though, um, Blue had the Uber ready for uh, combat that, so we could have gotten a lot more damage done um, if um, everybody on the Blue team was shiny and vulnerable. Yeah, and then you actually take down Solid Metal wow. Snake in the aftermath there. Yeah, great play by Top Shot uh, um, just jumping around like a madman. All sorts of Blue players all around him, but staying alive and getting the kill on the Medic. Yeah, Beat is uh, peering into last right now, and he's going to have to deal with uh, a sniper on his opponent's team as well. That's Jay getting healed up, which uh, <laughs> very often when two snipers are battling each other, um, you know, one of them will get a headshot, and then the other guy won't die, and you'll see them like say stuff in their stream chat or their uh, game chat of of like, yeah, well you had an overheal, yeah, well you had heals on you the whole time. Uh. <laughs> uh, right now we got the crit streak from Cosmos trying to push it around the corner here. Um, I think this is good though. They're gonna switch uh, positions going down through the lower lobby. It has popped. He's gonna come out the doors here, and uh, I think it, I think it got chopped off for a second. Oh, throws the soldier up in the air. It's finished off by Moero, and uh, no uh, no assist for face roller Rob. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, although I think Ricky did he get killed before his death? I'm not entirely oh, he sure. Did get killed by Moero. All right. He's got tossed around. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, well, Cosmos hold on to their second point again, and I think what we're going to see out of them is a little bit of tentative, hesitant playing, because they do know they didn't kill the medic, they're going to have to uh, deal with an uber advantage situation from Immortal 6. Yeah, an uber versus Chris Creek too, so um, I mean, I think that they should be trying a little bit harder to get the pop here, um, because that way then they can just move back into them with, uh, with the Chris Creek. Now they are trying to... No, they've, they've actually just popped the Chris Creek. But, uh, yeah, that's not the way to play it, in my my opinion. Didn't work too well for them. They lost two players there, including their Demo Man. And losing your Demo Man when you are about to have to defend last is not a fun thing to do. Yeah, and they, they did the pressure the pop, and, yeah, no, Ninsaw goes down. And uh, they have uh, the heavy up, uh, Red Team J, Benaducci. He's taking out a couple players, trying to get on the point, trying to stall it out. But, uh, no, uh, Mortal Six getting the capture there. Um, good play by them. The Crits Creek was kind of nice by Carl Sagan Foundation, but they were kind of stuck with it uh, for a little bit there as Nensal was surviving. Um, Jay Benaducci is slow on the rollout here for uh, Cosmos. Actually, even more slow has missed a, a couple of his jumps, so let's see if I6 can take advantage of that. They probably can. He's going to be almost as slow as the Heavy coming out there right now. They get there at the same time. Um, but Immortal 6 just got half their team wiped out there. The Heavy was hardly able to do any damage at all. Ooh, not good. Yeah, Beat uh, was actually just, uh, I was on with the camera. He got a one good buckshot kill, and that was about it for I-6. Only positive was that their um, scouts stayed up. Wow, I uh, I need more sleep. I'm not going to get it tonight, though. It is not fun. But, uh, uh, Immortal 6 are going to have to hold here on last. And remember, it's already uh, three points to Carl Sagan Foundation. They only need two more to win this. They could potentially get a nice easy one here. And are they running the crits? No, it's the regular Uber. So they're going to be Ubering, I think, into last point pretty darn soon. Emperor is trying to lay an ambush um, back at the choke. Um, but uh, he's taking his time. And uh, Jay Benaducci wow. is over to Spy. we got the back cap going on here from Emperor, so I6 just got to hold on here. Oh, can they do it? 
the, the Uber's on point. Wow. They wow. can. Great play there as uh, uh, Emperor able to get the back capture. The pressure from Carl Sagan. Not enough to seal the deal. And they're actually going to end up getting caught here. Top shot had taken out. Um, Jay Benaducci uh, still got to be lurking around. Oh, he's going to get it back. Oh, ho, ho. Spades turns around just at the right moment. I think he was going to go back to, to pick up his medic, maybe switch classes, and uh, turned around right in the nick of time. Very Save unfortunate himself. for that spy. Yeah. Got to hate it when that happens. That pretty much happens to me all the time when I'm playing spy. I, I just don't play spy. That's my solution. Yeah, there you go. There you go, I've got like maybe 20 hours on it, or less. Yeah. Face roller here, taking some uh, some damage, but didn't die to that. And actually, spades, the heavy went down. I'm too much of an honest aid to play spy. Oh, I see, I see. No, I'm perfectly okay with backstabbing people and like, <laughs> laughing when I trick them into thinking I'm actually on their team, but... Uh... I never was your friend. <laughs> Thanks for the Uber. <laughs> All right, so right now, uh, both teams kind of posting up on choke. Um, solid metal stake with a slight uber advantage, uh, but nothing really too significant or going to come into play here. No, face roll is just uh, trying to knock out some of these sticky bombs, and there goes the uber, actually. That was popped a little bit early, and yeah, I'm kind of surprised agree. by that. Agree. Plus, they popped it on the heavy, who is just not mobile enough to really deal with uh, uh, you know, medic and soldier like retreating from him and then pushing back in. But now we've got a... Uh, Extra uber, extra early uber pop, I think, from Cosmos as well, which isn't really doing them any favors here. And oh, there goes Top. Uh, yeah, um, Blue lost a couple players. They lost Spades. Oh, Cranberry bringing out the bottle to get Control F Puffin. Ouch. Yeah, I was going to say, they lost Spades uh, with that uber, and then they lost Ricky. And I was kind of like, oh man, they might get rolled back here. But then they just started racking the kills up. So I6. Uh, Performing well after kind of an initial weird Uber sacrificing spades in there. And a double engineer for a red team right now, but uh, not able to keep a sentry gun up even with that. So, Quinty's running around using their shotgun. One will get cleared off by some sticky some cranberry. And here goes Heavy Medic versus Heavy Medic right now with uh, spades taking a lot of hits here. They need to back away and actually. Um, oh, yeah, there goes spades. Uh, that red soldier got the kill on spades. Face Rolla looking to keep rolling forward, but he's kind of got a little too much opposition to, to keep pushing into. Now we're going to back oh. up. I'm just looking at Jay Benaducci right now because it is always awesome to watch a heavy like drag his minigun through the water, but uh, he's already stopped doing that. So we don't get to see swimming heavy too much today. Yeah, it, and yeah, still pyro, the. Top shot. He's Pyro and Double NG still. Uh, yeah, they've switched back over. That is the fastest way to get your gun up. Level two on the right-hand side. And uh, the Uber was able to be built by Ensol. Who's had to operate the Cosmos. Kapshada trying to come in with this Pyro. Jason <laughs> does uh, deliver some mail to Spades. Then the shotgun. It is a wipe for Immortal Six. What a counter push out by Carl Sagan. Yeah, specifically by Top, who was on the Pyro there. That was some good Pyro work. In fact... Uh, we're, we're talking, you know, moments of glory worthy, I would say. <laughs> Certainly was pretty glorious. Uh, we just launched a pyro clip uh, today, or uh, maybe yesterday by the time this gets published. And uh, we have some other mogs in the works as well, so subscribe, you know it. You can subscribe uh, to both our channels, actually. Hell yeah, uh, yeah, of course. We've got all kinds of good stuff for TF2. <laughs> Um, and I'm still on the top shot cam as he, well, it looked like he wanted to start reflecting spam, but there actually isn't a lot of reflectable spam coming at him. There is still a heavy for Immortal 6. Um, and there you go, we've got an uber pop, I think maybe forced there, yeah, and Nenzel yeah. down to very low health. Yeah, definitely forced there. Um, good jump in by the soldier. Nenzel popped just in the nick of time. There is a back cap going on, and Blue is trying to surge on to the second point to put a stop to that. Oh no, Nenzel stuck up top. He takes him out. Great push in by... I six right when that back cap was going on, they knew that blue was gonna have to send at least one player back to deal with that. Or sorry, that red was gonna have to send a player back. And uh, in that moment of distraction, they just all surged out. Great team play by Immortal Six. 
Yeah, I'm um, surprised. I thought they were going to have to go back and defend last, considering how that was going. And all of a sudden, Cosmos have lost middle, and they're sort of in that defensive position. They've got a heavy hiding behind the rock over here. Nobody really spotting him just yet. And here he goes, going to get a huge ambush on Spades, take him down very quickly. Uh, the Uber has been popped for our blue team, but they're going to have to eat through a lot of HP there on the on Jay Benaducci, the heavy. Yeah, and one of those Ubers the where a truly solid Metal Snake was really hoping to save space with that. Oh, and then Metal Snake kind of getting out of position. Does jump and dodge a, a, a rocket. He's down to 40 health, though. He's back in the choke to pick up the health pack. But Cosmos uh, surging out here. And uh, they are running the crits Creek as well. They do have the crits ready. And uh, popped on uh, Control F Muffin. Let's see who he can find oh. here. Does find a uh, solid Metal Snake. They're going to be able to capture Metal. And uh, that's what you need to do with crits Creek. Take out the medic. Keep the crits rolling. Yeah, that that push really worked out well for Cosmos. Uh, they just they caught ISX way out of position, unready for the Uber, unready for all the aggression they brought in, and then the deathmatch finished it off. Um, in fact, I think that was Beat who was trying to chase in after the medic or trying to get some kind of a kill there against like three players, and they just said, "No, sir." Uh, Rockets the face finished him off. Yeah, Cranberry gets a pick on face roller up top, so that'll give him a little bit of comfort um, for a second. But with the uh, crits great here. Carl Sagan Foundation probably just going to be surging in uh, very aggressively anyways. 85% got to get ready to go. They're just actually trying to build it up a little bit faster with that demo man since they don't have a soldier with them. It is ready, and um, where are they going to take it? Oh, they're going to go crit heavy. Um, I, I don't really agree with this. Uh, it's not a terrible idea, and there are a couple crit stickies coming out now. One of them just took down Ricky in a very nice fashion. Uh, the heavy is still standing on last, though. He gets taken down by a scout who is oh, about to cap. Couldn't quite do it. And face roller just uh, so ouch. Yeah, um, I think that Cosmos could have played that a little bit better. I mean, you know, the crits heavy does have its role. But he was just throwing all that uh, damage out there, and everybody just scattered and got away. Um, the thing with the crit sticky demo man that's so great is, uh, you know, you can launch those stickies so far that it just, and they have such a wide area of effect that you just can't get away from them. Um, and that's the danger. That heavy coming in, you kind of, you, you either just absolutely slaughter anybody who's really close to you, or you can throw out some uh, long-range harassment, but everybody just scattered. If they were able to pressure the point at the same time, that would have forced the blue team to have to come out and then engage that crits heavy, and that could have worked better for them. Instead, um, you know, they did get some stickies in there, but they didn't capture the point, and that's what it's all about. Are you sure it's not about, you know, putting your right arm in and your right arm out? I think I think it's also about looking cool and having an awesome hat. Uh, speaking of awesome hats, I'm just looking at Cranberry's crown right now. It's pretty darn awesome. And there you go, the Uber is popped on Cranberry, just as I say that. So he's going to get in there and try to deal some damage, but not really a lot going down. In fact, he's getting pressured way back. They do force the Uber out of Nenzal, so that's going to be not bad for them. Um, but I6 really... I was going to think they were going to drop back to mid. Instead, they're walking spades out here on the heavy once again, and wow, some huge yeah. kills here. Yeah, and uh, one of the soldiers there, I think it was Face Roller, got that Uber jumped around and he jumped all the way over from the kind of the upper area to the rock to try to uh get one of the scouts and instead he just left cranberry at, at top health still hiding up top and i think that was um uh definitely kind of a strategic misstep there immortal six great surge back from their own last point to uh take that round from carl sagan yeah, and that's gully wash for you. The uh, the surge backs happen really fast, and they go really far because it's such a short map. Um, Thirteen and a half minutes left to go here with Carl Sagan Foundation still leading three to two, uh, but it looks like I6 is doing a little bit better now. I still don't expect them to win the mid fight though. I don't think they've won a single one yet. Yeah, a lot of pressure coming in from uh, Red right now. Do they both have a heavy? No, okay, there's a soldier walking down. And he's over by Choke right now, very low on health, so the Meg's trying to get back over to him. Um, he's going to be soaking up heals for a while, though. Let's see what Cosmos... Yeah, they actually focused down Spades enough to counteract the heals and take him out. Nice play there. Cosmos taking middle once again. That's, that's, uh, that's a tough thing to deal with. Pretty much, I6 may have to drop back to last if this Uber doesn't work out really well for them. And right now they've got, oh no, I was going to say they've got no high ground advantage, they've got nothing whatsoever to really work with here. Uh, had two players down, and they popped the Uber out there anyway, which I have no idea why they did that, but uh, 
Maybe it was because Solid Metal was pressured a little bit, I don't know. Emperor does take down Moro in the uh, in the base here, in the hallway, so not too bad for them. They'll be able to hold on last for a little bit. Yeah, I think they just wanted to get aggressive with that um, pop and, and make Carl Sagan work for that second point. And uh, Ricky got barely saved by Solid Metal Snake. It was a very nice flash on him to, to keep him alive here. They're running Sorry. Engineer, uh, kind of a traditional spot here, uh, right on that right-hand side. That they are, they've got it level 2. Um, is there a benefit to not setting up a level 3, or uh, what's the deal with that? Well, uh, the, the match that we casted last night, Salamancer, where Mackie set it up to a level 2 and not a level 3, then what he ended up doing, and we didn't have time to talk about it because the action was just so fierce, what uh, one advantage is you set up a level 2 and then you upgrade it 175 out of 200. Oh, and then yeah. you can move it and it upgrades to a level 2, or sorry, it rebuilds to a level 2 a whole lot faster than having to rebuild all the way to level 3. And then you just have to hit it one more time. So that can be a oh, very no. uh, good uh, trick. Uh, yeah, good snipe there from Emperor. I, I didn't see the snipe itself, but I saw him switch over that position. Getting an insult, a big kill, and then uh, JB jumping over and getting the, the uber pressure out of Metal Snake. And they're going to try to walk as far forward with it as they can. Coming out of the doors right now. But I see three players right now from Cosmos. I don't see their fourth, and they had four up during that push. I'm wondering if there isn't going to be a back half attempt somewhere. Um, but it will be spotted out by the engineer if it does happen. So it looks like maybe second point will get recaptured. Maybe. I don't know. Moro's yeah. doing some work here. Yeah, Moero is back on too, and now here comes the Medic as well. They got to fight Spades and Cranberry. Cranberry extremely low. Moero down though, and uh, Blue uh, working really hard to get this capture. Oh, here comes the Scout, or uh, Soldier, excuse me. JB does get the kill on Spades. Cranberry, 33 health the whole time. Finishes off the capture, and then sneaks inside. Very dangerous stuff. But gets away. Solid Metal Snake takes some damage down to 75 health. Blue has control of the second point, but they're having to back up here. Yeah, it is actually uh, Cosmos not only capturing, but they brought their combo in around that uh, that choke point. So they skipped by all the sticky bombs and then started pressuring I4 or I6 back. I almost said I46. <laughs> no, a uh, similarly awesome, but a different uh, different name, of different sorts. I am looking forward to it, though. I would love to go out there to uh, to UK and. Have some fun with our European friends and do some shout casting and just uh, have a good old time. In fact, I've even got a couple of people who don't even play TF2 out there that I want to meet as well, so oh, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, nice. some people from Scotland. Nice. <laughs> well, anyway, that was a uh, uh, a failed failed little push there by Cosmos. Um, and once again, B on the pyro is going to be rushing out to help recapture second. Uh, there's a lot of spam coming in right now, and his medic is under pressure. Solid Metal oh, Snake goes no. down some arrow. That was a fail pocket pyro. Um, you got to be just as attentive to uh, your scout, um, or two scout attacks, as if you were a soldier. The scout just slipped in right behind the pyro's point of view, but uh, I six still getting captured there. Nensal is up with uh, Control F Muffin. Yeah, just FYI, I was told in the stream chat that we need to reload our HUDs again because Emperor is playing and he was not on my HUD, so I don't know if yeah, you've gotten yeah, that already. Uh, but uh, I did that about halfway through. Uh, the second nice, half, but. nice. Okay. Well, we've got, it's going to be heavy versus heavy again. Right now, Spades has to overheal, but of course, that only lasts 20 seconds. And as soon as the beam goes off of you as a heavy, look how fast that health goes down. Yeah, it drains quite quickly. JB and the, Red, uh, the heavy on that side, is on uh, Tunnel Barrage with one of the scouts. He might try to lure somebody out here. He's uh, playing Silent Ninja Heavy. Nah. <laughs> we've, uh... The scouts, it's pretty interesting. Playing against the Silent Ninja Heavy, in fact, is extremely scary if they know their positioning and if they can catch you off guard. Here comes the Uber from Nenzal. Uh, they know they have a slight advantage over Solid Metal Snake, but he's getting his Uber up very quickly. Nobody can catch him. Base Roller just gets rolled by Spades, pushed all the way back, but he's down. Now the blue Uber out. Uh, Control F Muffin gets pushed into by Ricky. Binds with beats. Take out Nenzal. Both scouts right next to the Uber Soldier. Uh, that's not where I would like to be if I was a, a little 125 hit point weakling. And uh, Boero, the only one left for Cosmos, and he's gotten pushed all the way back to last. Uh, he's running back in there. Uh, maybe going to switch classes. Um, yeah, switches over to Pyro, which is a nice call considering the Uber differential. Well, there you go, Emperor coming in and helping, yeah, Emperor helping Ricky finish off a lot of players in here from uh, from Cosmos, and I think that we're going to see this game get tied up by the Immortal Six with not a, not a lot of minutes left to go on the clock there. Wow. Yeah, quite possibly. Um, 
Mortal Six, good capture there, just bringing the pressure. Uh, two pyros attempted by Carl Sagan and the Cosmos, but uh, not able. Wow, 7.48 remaining in this half, tied at 3-3. Yeah, that indeed is not a whole lot of time. Let's see what uh, Carl Sagan can get going on here, or a Mortal Six. Once again, I6 taking um, kind of an aggressive rollout with her demo, but he just stays downstairs, content to uh, snipe with stickies from down there for a little bit. The scouts are trying to get up and screen against uh, the red team, and actually not some bad damage coming down, but once again, Immortal 6 just not getting the frags. They've walked their heavy up, though. Uh, he's still got 200 health to to uh, play with, but that scout could have, uh, you know, actually he is reduced down to 100 now, and yeah, they're, there you go, they take him down. So once again, Immortal 6 losing a mid-fight. Yeah, um... Having a little bit of a tough luck there. Uh, Ricky was jumping in on Nensal, wasn't really able to connect uh, with his rockets at the beginning of that middle fight. And they're just uh, good positioning as a team for uh, Carl Sagan and the Cosmos. Carl Sagan and the Cosmos. By the way, guys, I know I say it a lot, but uh, band names, not a bad one. <laughs> That's certainly true. Anyway, the Cosmos Foundation, uh, the Carl Sagan Foundation. Now pushing in two seconds. Uh, they know that their opponents are upstairs, and wow, nice kill on Ricky, but they did take out Jay Benaducci there. Uh, no Uber for Immortal 6, I'm kind of surprised they're staying this far forward, but I guess they know that they're not in too much danger of getting jumped right now, even though that Uber is just over for Cosmos. Yeah, Immortal 6, they put down Jay Benaducci, so they knew that face roller was just uh, sticking with the medic. Been bringing a lot of pressure, though. Spades is fully over here, jumping forward, clearing out stickies with the, the shotgun. Trying to get around the corner, he backs up with 111 health. Uh, Jay Benaducci on spy, and uh, he, uh, he's trying to find the man right now. I'm doing the same thing, clicking so, furiously. Yeah. There we go. And he's using the um, cloak and dagger there, so he will be able to stay cloaked indefinitely. He's coming up behind the medic now. I think he got spotted there, and actually, don't know what happened. He might have lagged, but B came up behind him and just finished him off. Yeah, I think he was in trouble anyways, but I certainly saw that lag there as well. Kind of sucks. Yeah, he uh, dropped his verbiage in uh, his way as well about that. But uh, Uber's popped on both sides. And it's already faded here for both teams as well, so we do have uh, Spades getting taken out now. But the rest of the Cosmo team, the result is one scout left, and he was trying to peck the back of Cranberry, the demo man there, could not manage to do it. So pretty much everybody stayed alive except for the heavy from Immortal 6. They are pushing in, and they could actually, for the first time this game, take the lead. There they go. It's 4-3. to three. Wow, yeah, and they didn't even win that middle fight. I mean, as we called it. <laughs> Spade's uh, talking a little bit of trash, too. Told you not to run heavy. Uh, that was what one of his teammates said to him. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, heavy's been working out for Spade's in Immortal 6. Even though they've been losing these middle fights, they've been getting the work done, and uh, they've taken the lead here with just five minutes remaining in the half up to Carl Sagan to reach out there and uh, get another round. Yeah, this time around Immortal 6 gets the high ground advantage early on and they're still losing players left and right. Uh, they do manage to get one kill there on face roller, but that's the only one they got so far. Spades is up here doing some work as the heavy. Um, oh. Can't get a kill there either. No, Spades did a lot of damage to both the scouts there, but um, unfortunately not able to get a kill. So um, Cosmo is pushing forward aggressively here. Going to be able to take second without any contention from Immortal Six. Yeah, uh, no contest over there at that second point means that everything comes down to the last point defense for Immortal Six, um, and whether they can hold on again or whether Cosmos is going to bring it up to four to four. And it's getting so late in the game now that we may end up seeing something like an overtime situation. That's always fun. Yeah, without a doubt. We have seen, uh, as we mentioned before, a lot of crazy pushbacks on this map in the past. Right now, though, Carl Sagan pushing in with the Uber, holding it as long as they can while they walk in. The level two sentry gun is up, throws the soldier all the way across the map. Control F Muffin goes down, sentry gun down now, but uh, I 6 still uh, fully staffed up with six players, and now an Uber charge as well. Pops it as soon as they get it, and they are surging forward. I um, actually think he wasn't really under that much pressure to pop that. Um, but, uh, you know, now he's, uh, uh, since Nensal used his, get his back around the same time. Spade barely staying alive. Was down to 10 health. Getting healed up, though, and is pushing out. Oh, oh, man, Red Medic gets totally isolated. Had a great shot of Emperor running at him, and Nensal just, you know, didn't know where anybody was. He was standing there healing somebody, and he's like, oh, oh God, no. I'm all alone. 
Yeah, it's not a good feeling as a medic. Guys, where'd everybody go? <laughs> yeah. And then you see the scout right in your face. Yeah, not fun at all. Um, Control F Muffin now setting up some stickies on top of the uh, on top of the point here, which I think is affectionately called the nipple by a lot of yeah. uh, a lot of competitive players. Um, so if anybody tries to jump up there and take the high ground, they're in for a nasty surprise. But so far, nobody really doing that, and so those stickies are not going to mean anything. In fact, I think the scout may have seen that. Soldier decided, whoa, you know, no, 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 <laughs> not up there. Yeah, dangerous nipple to take bite out of. We've got uh, Nenzel actually running the crits creed right now. Speaking of taking a bite out of somebody, uh, that could be very effective as long as they can pop it on somebody who can get the damage put out. And, uh, and whoa, that would be scary. Um, walking past those three sticky bombs, but uh, Spades actually took them out before they were detonated. The Uber is ready for both teams. Kritzkrieg, of course, ready for Nenzal. But here's the problem. Now they're defending last, and defending last are the Kritzkrieg? Eh. Yeah. And he was very low on health there, too, so he actually had to pack up. Um, you know, this Kritzkrieg, if they had had it while Immortal 6 was pushing two, it would have been a much better situation to, to use it there to force that Uber. But now, at this point, you know, I6 has given them enough time that Cosmos could have actually built a regular Uber, so um, it's kind of a tough choice. And you make that call, and then you end up just holding onto a Crits Creek, waiting for an Uber to push into you. I would run a Pyro here, too, if you're Crits versus Uber. Oh, here they come around the corner with the Crits. Oh, they lose Nensaw, though. Losing Face Roller there in, chain, in, in exchange for an early Uber pop is all right. But Immortal 6 have popped the Uber. They're continuing to get kills here. As Spades takes out Control F Muffin. Moero goes down. I think it's just the Sentry Gun. The Scout's going to run past it. And there we go. GG. Immortal 6 getting five round wins in the second half and taking this game 5-3 over Carl Sagan and the Cosmos. Any final thoughts from you, Salamancer? My final thought is uh, I'm, i got to send you this screenshot because this scout looks ecstatic beat. So that he won the game right now. Um, it's been awesome. I do want to say that you guys, uh, if you'd like to see lots of content just like this with uh, daily YouTube video shoutcasting type stuff, do check out my channel, youtube.com slash fatmop, and of course, twitch.tv slash fatmop, where I stream a lot of that stuff live too. Check me out. Yeah, exactly. A lot of content going up on our YouTube and a lot of content going up on Sal's YouTube and then both of us appearing together on twitch.tv slash XTV Esports, casting all the biggest league matches over there. Xtelevision.com, check it out for our links to our pub servers and all of our social media links. And um, Salamancer is uh, FatMopTF2 on Twitter. Or Sal TF2, Sal TF2, there, there you go. Right. Sal TF2. So, uh, been great having you here, Salamancer. I am Angstein. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Peace out!